Hey y'all, I'm gonna do a hopefully quick video with my Christmas spreadsheet and show you how I do my Christmas planning. This is, um, I made this three years ago and I didn't use it last year because I was pregnant and I kind of just, you know, flew by the seat of my pants, didn't do as much as I did before. And um, I'm just gonna show you real quick. I keep it pretty basic um, and I do, you know, use my actual planner, but I use my paper planner more for like um, immediate lists, like gifts that are still left to wrap or um, like um, things to reference really quickly. Like I'm making some stovetop pot pourri that you can like Put it on your stove and it'll make your house smell really good so i'm giving that to a couple of my uh, my aunts and i have a lot of them so i wrote a list you know that way i can quickly you know reference it and then when i'm like brainstorming um like some snack ideas for our gift exchange for example i'm gonna have that here but when it comes to like long-term tracking and budgeting i have this spreadsheet So I basically just went to Google Docs. I went to Google Docs and I just started making different lists that I needed. Like the first list I started with was a bucket list. What do I want to do in the season? Like what do I want to do with my kids? Just a couple things like go see the lights, drive around, bake cookies, you know, hang up our stockings because I might forget that, decorate, you know, put up a uh, light, stuff like that. And then any certain kind of treats that I want to make any um, specific like baking that I want to do. And then I also have where I keep track of our gift exchange. So every year my cousins and I do a gift exchange because there's kind of a lot of us. And then we also do a, a, like a smaller family one with like my dad and my siblings. So up here I have track like me and my husband who we got and whether or not we have purchased it and wrapped it. So this little column is for purchasing and I'm just gonna edit this because I, I, I know what it means but just to kind of show you um, on the spreadsheet what it stands for so I'll like check it off once I buy the gift for whoever I got and then once I've actually wrapped it I'll check that off too um, and then down here I keep track of other lists so here's where the budget comes in and I made it all green because you know money and if you're savvy with Excel, if you're like my husband and you like love spreadsheets and formulas, you can formulate this so that your budget um, somehow is like connected to the actual gift tracking, which is down here. So I have a gift log down here with everyone I can think of in my family that I'm going to give a gift to. Um, again, this is a couple years old, but I think most people um, will be getting a gift this year. So you could connect this column, which has the budget for that gift, and you could like connect it somehow to this one, which is the total budget for the gifts. And then I have other things, you know, cause some people like to do white elephant, like my husband's work is gonna do a white elephant. And actually that is, this is old information, but I've been using mostly the stocking tracker and the gift log. And um, I also have an area for cards down here so once i've written them filled them out that's what this column is and then this is once they're mailed and actually they are all mailed so um i'm not sending one to my husband anyway so you just you know i have these little check boxes that you you know you can check them off and um yeah pretty straightforward so this is the stocking tracker and again it's like whether you've purchased it whether you've wrapped it and then whether it's in the stocking so most of these are wrapped and as of yesterday they are in the stocking both of my girls love dinosaurs so i've got a lot of little dinosaur stuff and this I'm actually going to just let him play with before. So that's not going to go in the stocking. So pretty easy. 
I don't have it labeled, but I mean, I can, I can get that labeled. Uh, I'm think I'm just going to upload this as like a, as like a, a shareable spreadsheet. That way you guys can use this too. And you know, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it does help because I can access this on my phone quickly. I shared it with my husband and then we can just check things off. Or he told me like, he'll tell me, oh, I have this idea and we can just type it in real quick. And I also have a space next to every gift that you can, you know, type a URL. So if you find something, um, but you're, you just have like a reference on a website, you just, you know, copy and paste that right there. Here's um, the tracking for that pot puri that I'm making. So it's gonna have cranberries, which I already got, oranges, cinnamon, and cloves. Yeah, I've got everything except the rosemary since that's gonna be fresh. I'm waiting till a little bit closer when I'm giving it to them. And yeah, this is just really helpful to have like an actual tracker, a checklist, and you know, here's where you can, it, it helps you to see visually like your money, the money that you're spending because it's very easy to go overboard. And I usually, I don't say this to like give myself a pat on the back. I say this because I learned over years and years, um, done by one is my goal every year. I learned that from an older woman who has like five kids and instead of being overwhelmed and shopping last minute and trying to figure things out and charging things and going into debt, I would rather plan ahead. You know, we like to plan, but sometimes we don't actually plan <laughs> in the right areas or like the most helpful areas. I'm guilty of that. And that's exactly why I made this a couple years ago. Now I made this in December um, of a couple years ago. So now I'm able to see it ahead of time because it's already made. And I was able to start doing this early and then I was done at the beginning of December and then I get to, and I hope it helps you, you know, kind of mentally unload and actually enjoy the holiday time. So that's the goal. And if this is a resource that you can use, then great. If not, don't bother. I mean, keep your keep your planner or whatever works for you. Fly by the seat of your pants like I did. Um, I'm not saying that this is the best way or anything. I'm just letting you know how I plan for Christmas. Because, you know, when you have kids especially, you want to do special things. You want to, you know, um, you know, decorate the tree, take time to do some crafts or some baking. And um, I'm also, um, oh, right here, I'm also checking off a couple of just basic to-dos. So if you have just very general random tasks, you can put it right here. And um, here is outfit planning. For the kids, you know, when we actually are in the day of, I want to just, I don't want to have to think about it. And I, I planned it as I had, as I picked the outfits, I just typed it in here. I also have my wish list on here, you know, hint, hint to my husband. And yeah, it's very straightforward, very basic. It's a huge old spreadsheet. You could also probably print it out. It would co probably come out really small or maybe um, do like two pages. But anyway, I just wanted to share how I do it and offer a little bit of a uh, resource to help you do your planning too. So I, I hope y'all have a great season and I'll see you in the next video. Happy planning.